guys, it's Tom from House of Chaos and today I'm bringing you an unboxing video. This will be video one or three. Uh, I had a delivery the other day and uh, quite a few things came I'm quite excited about so I wanted to share them with you guys. Uh, so yeah, let's get to it. Uh, can't wait. Let's do shortly and I'll show you what I got. Cool. Okay, so package number one. Death Shroud Bodyguard, some nerdly goodness. Um, so a little story, tell you why I'm doing Death Guard. I've just had a really bad slump in playing 40k and I've spoken to a few people and they advise me to just pick an army, focus on it and use that army over and over and over again, win or lose, just keep practicing and playing and just master it and then go from there with other armies etc because I'm still relatively new to 40k I've been playing since probably the end of February so a few months I've probably played about 20 games maybe a bit more 20 to 30 games um, but yeah, I've, I've had a really bad slump. So the army that I chose was Death Guard. It was my original army that I started out with. That and Space Marines because I got the Dark Imperium box set. So, um, but I did start off with the with the Death Guard because the models look really cool. I like the fluff side of it as well, like what happens to them in in Horus Heresy, etc. Um, so yeah, they were just. I just love them. I do really like my Death Guard. I, I went off them a bit because I played my very first tournament. I used Death Guard and I didn't do particularly well. And it sort of threw me off a bit. But like people have said, I do need to focus on them more. Well, focus on an army more and practice and practice and practice. So I have gone back to Death Shroud. Uh, Death Guard, sorry. And Death Shroud. I got because I have Mortarian and he is finally painted. I did use him a couple weeks ago. He wasn't painted at the time. Uh, I used him in a club game and he got absolutely smashed, which is to be expected because he is a beast. So he's primary target number one. So I'm, he was going to get targeted. Uh, apparently these boys will help keep him alive a bit longer. So. I've got two kits, so I've got six models. I've ordered one more off eBay because if you look at the fluff, there's seven Death Shroud. So I like my fluff. I like to play fluffy. I'm not ultra competitive. Uh, I'd rather play a fluffy list than a, a cheesy list. But that's just the way that I play. And it's probably the reason why I'm losing, but I'd rather play and lose a list that I enjoy then win with a list that I don't enjoy. So that's my reasons behind the way that I play. Um, so yeah, Death Shroud, um, cool models. I really love the look of them. I have done since I've first seen them. Obviously they're not new, like they're not recent release or anything like that. They've been out for a while now, but they're new to me. And that's why I'm doing an unboxing video because I'm, I'm super excited about these. They, they look so cool. And I can't wait to build them and paint them up and add them to the ranks of the Death Guard that I've got. So we'll open them up. I've already taken the cellophane off, so there's no fanning around with that. So do 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 do. Nobody goodness. So there's three sets of screws by the looks of it. Cool. Nothing else. Get rid of the box because we don't need that now. Uh, so we've got three bases, 40 mil. Sweet. I'll put the sprues to one side for now, because we'll focus on them in a minute. Instructions. Right. Yeah. Let the box art and stuff. Cool. Alright, let's see what we've got then. Hmm. So yeah, it looks like you've got your two pieces of armour gluing together with the head inside the, the space in there. Um, and you glue your two legs onto that bit of armor that you've glued together there. It's pretty straightforward to be fair. Um, well, cloak goes on. 
it looks like it glues onto your shoulder pad so that's pretty tidy because that there will go over the top of it then it seems so that will just tighten it all together make it look a bit tidier which is pretty good and it looks like the stacks go on there on top of that bit that's pretty cool got an arm there and another one there Aha, the Plague Spur gauntlet. So that will glue onto the actual arm then. It looks a bit small, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And then you've got the, you've got the Man Reaper there. Nice. It looks so cool, that. Imagine something coming at you with a giant scythe. Just some sort of like plague ridden bloody farmer coming at you. <laughs> bit scary. Um, yeah. The smoke. I've got an issue with the smokes that come out the stacks. It's the flies. The flies really irritate me. I know it's Nurgle's thing, like cloud of flies, pestilence and all that jazz. But why do they look so stupid? They, they're too cartoony. You, if you want your paint your army all grim, dark and horrible looking, proper badass, you don't want cartoony flies on you, do you? So I'll... I'll I don't think I'll be using them to be honest. They won't be being glued on. I'll just have plain stacks. It's not a problem. Um, so not a lot of customization, though. No. Uh, but I don't suppose there would be because they've only got one loadout really. He did have multiple heads though, so we'll check the heads out on the sprue to see how many heads there actually is that we can. Because looks like there's two options for this one as well. Similar sort of setup. Two legs going on to the armor piece. Cloak goes on, shoulder pads go on, stacks go on, plague spurt gauntlet goes on, and I'm assuming, yeah, scythe goes on, man reaper, yeah, and the stupid flies which won't be going on. So it's a different stance, so that's pretty sweet, bit of bit of variety there. Um, the champion, so to me, yeah, so the champion looks a bit different to the regular guy if you want to use him as a regular guy because i've got two boxes i'm only going to be having one champion well one guy that's models a, as a champion because if you run in two units you, there'll be a champion in that other unit but you can tell that because of his stance that'll be your champion anyways um looks like they've got a talisman there of nurgle so that's pretty cool yeah there's a lot more detail on the champion's armor Shoulder pads are different as well. Oh, and the Man Reaper's got a different head on it as well. That's pretty sweet. It makes them a bit more unique. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's pretty sweet. Oh, there's two heads for the champion there. Looks like a bear head. And one with a spike sticking up. Uh, I won't be using the bear head because I can't paint faces. I'm terrible at painting faces. And it's easier just to do a helmet. So I'll be using the helmet. I think it, it it fits them a bit more. They're supposed to be like the silent warriors. They never say anything. Um, so to have him bareheaded and being a mute, it's a bit weird. It's, better, it's a bit more mysterious in it to have him in a helmet. So I'll be doing that. But yeah, same again. Two bits of armor, head in, legs go on. So yeah, cloak, shoulder pads. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Champion has the ability to use two Plague Spurt Gauntlets, which is quite handy. I believe the range isn't all that, and neither is the strength, but it's it's an extra weapon, and it to use a bit more chances to do inflict some wounds. Um, ah, that's even better then, because it looks like there's a plain fist. So if you want to run this guy as a non-champion, just give him the fist and keep the talisman with the champion. It'll be that much easier to distinguish the champion from everyone else then. Not that a giant mouth on you coming out your armor with a massive great tongue's gonna blend into the crowd, is it? But yeah. No, that's ideal. Cool. I'm happy with that. Can't wait to do that. Sweet. And then you've got your little painting guide there as well. Um, I think I've got most of them paints, to be fair. I don't have a 
that screaming bell, but I've, I've got brass colours that I can use. Data sheet. Right, what we got here then? So movement four inches. So yeah, death death guard sh slowness. Because the regular play marines are five inches, but the terminators are four inches. Uh, because they've got the I'm not going to say it because I can't pronounce it. Cataphraki. Something like that anyways. The, the old style armour. If you advance you've got half the result. So that's a bit annoying. Well it's not annoying because it's cumbersome in it. Giant great armour. Old. Um, so it restricts their movement a little bit. But it does give them a 4 up and vulnerable save which is nice. Um, and on top of that they got the disgustingly resilient so you've got your two up arm save for being terminators four up invulnerable save and then you've got five up in uh, feel no pain which is golden we all love a feel no pain gets you out of so many difficult situations um so weapon skills are free up ballistic skills are free up i don't think that matters because that's a flamer so it auto hits anyways so six inch range, yeah, I don't think it had a big range, but it's pistol D6, so you can shoot it in combat. Strength free, no AP, one damage. But it's a plague weapon, so you re-roll in ones. And if you put uh, your warlord with the arch contaminator warlord trait, you re-roll in all failed wound rolls for plague weapons. So just, so that's pretty good. Um, strength five, toughness five. T5, Death Guard, standard, except for Pox Walkers. Um, wounds, two a pop, which is nice. Uh, attacks, right, this is the gravy. This is what I wanted to look at. So with the Hateful Assault rule, um, you obviously add one to your attacks uh, in when you've successfully made a charge, being charged or heroically intervened. So... The regular Death Shroud Terminators will be having four attacks and the champion will be having a five attack so that's 13 attacks if my maths is correct. 4, 8, 12, 13, yeah 13 attacks and with the Man Reaper it's plus three strength so your strength is strength eight now so you're wounding on fours quite a lot of the time. Well at most fours quite a lot of the time then it'll be threes and twos and then even if you're wounding on fours just slap on um well if you can pull it off blades of putrefaction because that adds one to the wound rolls so that's pretty nice um so yeah that's just <laughs> really good um minus three ap d3 damage right d3 damage it's not as good as the profile of the, is it the Plague Reaper that the Lord of Contagions can have? Because um, they're flat free, but they are more points than the Man Reaper. And I think it's minus two AP instead of minus three. But it's flat free damage, which is really good. But D3, uh, if if you're lucky enough to get all your attacks through and you've wounded all of them, it's still at least 13 wounds. So that, you can't really scoff at that really, can you? It's, you're taking down quite a lot of stuff. Uh, re-rolling your wands, re-rolling everything because it's a plague weapon. So you're re-rolling everything if your warlord's got the arch contaminator warlord trait, which is really good. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, leadership eight and nine. With such a small unit, you're not going to be failing any morale test anytime soon, so that doesn't really matter. Uh, yep, we've covered the armor saves. Death to the False Emperor and Disgustingly Resilient. Yes. So, chances are you'll probably get a few sixes in that. So, there'll be more hits, more chances to wound. Happy days, especially, if, well, only if you're playing Imperium, but. That's cool. Who's not running Space Marines these days now that their new codex has dropped? So plenty of opportunity there. Uh, Eyes of Mortarian. Death Guard characters excluding Mortarian within three inches of any friendly Death Shroud Terminators add one to their attacks characteristic. That is so good. 
Typhus is going to be rocking up with the smashes. Deep Strike Typhus with a couple of these bad boys in. Charge them in. You're going to be charging them nines. Reroll them. Command points. Use them up. Just get them into combat. They're going to be smashing stuff up. It's going to be... Oh, I can't wait. I really like Typhus as the model. I love the model. Not people are too fond of the new model. They prefer the old one, but I really like the new one. Uh, his stats are pretty good as well. He's a bit of a jack of all trades sort of character, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I really like Typhus, so I, I will be running these with him in the list. Um, so yeah, that's perfect because he will get the plus one for the successful charge and that as well. So happy days. And also, if things charge at you as well. You'll be getting that and the hateful assault. It's just attacks for days, man. Yes. Yeah, that's that's cool. I, I like that. I like that. Silent bodyguard. We're moving on. We're moving on. Silent bodyguard. Roll the dice each time a friendly death guard character is hit by a ranged or melee weapon whilst within three inches of this unit. On a two up, one of the death shroud terminators takes the hit. You're taking the hit. So everything goes off you. So if you're in cover, you get a cover save. Mortarian doesn't get cover that often because he's too big. So you can put these in cover within three inches of Mortarian and you're using a cover, you've got a cover save then. So AP minus one weapons. Two ups. AP minus two. Three ups. So it's it's good, it's good. Um, and then teleport strike because they are terminators and then you got your infantry keyword terminator keyword death shroud keyword and uh, faction keywords chaos nergo heretic astartes death guard so yeah cool we'll look at the sprues sprues what did i say that i wanted to look at the heads how many heads there were so we got one two three four five Six, seven. So you got seven heads for three models. Options. So yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, yeah, that is the. Yeah, that's the. That's the champion's armor there. It's quite detailed. I love the mouth there. Imagine that with some Nurgle's rot and some uh, some blood technical paints. Make it look really cool. Disgusting. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so you got four lots of armor plates because you've got the option to make the champion the regular normal death shroud. Um, now there's the um, the champion's man reaper head. Looks pretty sweet. It's, a, it's different to the regular one, which is nice. Gives him that uniqueness, which I like. So yeah. It's not a great deal of parts either. It looks simple to put together. I'm I'm really excited about building these and painting them up and adding them to my lists. So yeah, brilliant. I'm I'm really happy with that. I'm glad I brought them. Like I say, I've, I've loved the models from since I've seen them, and I've always wanted to put them in my army. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad I did. Um. So that there is video unboxing number one. Uh, so there's two more to come. So please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see the other two videos. Uh, also leave a comment if you let me know what you think of the kit. Like I say, it's not a new kit. Most people have probably seen it by now, but it's new to me and I'm really excited to have it now. And I just wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on it. Um, so yeah, brilliant. Uh, thank you for watching and hopefully we'll see you again. Cheers guys, thank you very much.